Today we're going to look at this proof that says our given information is C is the midpoint of segment TX. The measure of segment CX is equal to 2. The measure of segment MC equals the measure of segment MT plus 2. That is the statement, at, that last statement I just read is what we are trying to prove. So as with all of our proofs, we start with our given information. So first C is the midpoint of segment TX and that is given. Our second statement that we're given is that the measure of segment CX equals 2 and that is also given to us. So, discussing the key questions that we've learned in class, is anything the same? I see an equal sign here, but I have no statement that I can do substitution with. And so, uh, the next key question is, do we have a keyword? And I see that it says C is the midpoint of segment TX, and so we have a keyword. And so, from that, um, if C is the midpoint of TX, I have this diagram, and so I see C and I have T, and so I can actually extend my segment, and I now knew that this was the same length, so their segments are congruent, uh, because that we were told that C is the middle of segment TX. And so my third statement is that the segment TC is congruent to segment CX. And the reason we know that is definition of midpoint. And that keyword was in step number one. And again, just to reiterate, the, the midpoint uh, definition is that it is a point that splits a segment, so segment TX, that is split into two congruent pieces, so segment TC and segment CX are congruent. Going back to our key questions, um, is anything the same? I have measure of segment CX, but here I just have the objects CX being congruent to TC, so I cannot yet substitute, but one thing I do know is that segments that are congruent have the same length. And so my fourth statement that I can make is that the measure of segment TC is equal to the measure of CX. And again, because I know congruent segments are segments of the same length, the definition of congruent segments allows me to make that that claim and that was from step three. So now going back to my key questions, is anything the same? I have measure of CX in statement two and I have measure of CX in statement four. And so I can do some substitution. And so in place of segment measure of segment CX, I can state that the measure of segment TC is equal to two units in length and we are substituting, so substitution with statements two and four. And so now, um, looking at my statement, I only have one statement unused. If I look back at what it is I'm trying to prove, I'm trying to show that the measure of segment MC is equal to the measure of segment MT plus 2. And if I go back to my key questions, is anything the same? I can't do any substituting because I only have one statement. Keywords, there's no keyword in my statement. And so the third key question was, what conclusions can I make from the diagram? Well, in our original diagram, I was given segment MC and I know that it was made up of segment MT and segment TC and so 
um, looking at that I have the whole segment as part of my proof or the statement that I'm trying to prove I can use the idea of segment addition postulate to say that the measure of segment MC is created by adding together the measures of segments MT and segment TC and that again was the segment addition postulate and I made that conclusion from my diagram and so going back to the key questions once again is anything the same? I see a measure of segment TC and in the statement I just wrote I see another measure of segment TC and so I can substitute in place of um, TC the value of 2 and so the measure of segment MC is equal to the measure of segment MT plus 2 and again by replacing TC I'm substituting so that is substitution and I've substituted with steps 5 and 6. Now this is just one way of solving this proof. Um, the segment addition postulate statement that could have put, been put in um, after my givens um, so that could be in a different place. We also could have done some other different steps with substitution um, and if you have questions on those other um, orders, you can always come see me in class.